everybody it's your boy czar all rights reserve coming to you today uh, to talk about a subject because i noticed recently uh daz dillinger made a threat to kanye west coming to the west coast um, because of his comments dealing with trump and basically told him that he's not allowed in a sense which means that if he does head that way after making the comments he made violences potentially against him now the reason we're talking about this because also Snoop Dogg made a comment who's also a crip and it was in a sense co-signing Daz Dillinger loosely and they both did it like a joke but we know for a fact that when these guys say things we have to take it at face value because of the type of individuals they are which are real gang banging allegedly individuals so that's my thing it's it's a very uh weird situation where you got to ask yourself are they coming for clout are they coming for respect is that how they're getting it are they willing to sacrifice kanye west to gain this just like takashi um and j prince jr and the beef on in cali uh dealing with um the blood individual gangs that i was speaking on that we've seen publicly come out and make comments about takashi 69 now all of this is leading to a climax because if we look at how it's building, if we look at everyone involved, it's a lot of individuals who for years have been doing what they do. These new individuals, well, Kanye is not new, but um, as an individual who's uh, recognized in the community, he's now beefing with other known individuals. When we get beef like this, it usually escalates, especially being that now we're expecting them to do what they said they're going to do. And that's where this stuff gets a little messy because when you make threats to an all-star and you say you're gonna do stuff, in a sense, it's not that I'm saying you gotta do it, now you gotta do it, more so than you said that, now you gotta stand by it. Uh, and to do it for Trump, I just don't see what they're gonna gain from attacking Kanye West for Donald Trump. It doesn't make sense for his views. These are his viewpoints. This is what he believes in. Why are we still attacking people for what they believe in? I, for instance, if Takashi it does believe in rainbow hair and wearing a bunch of colors, why are we attacking him? Is it because we're pulling his card? Are we saying that's not gangster? Well, how are we going to say that if he's in an industry that's paying him millions to be who he is and they respect it? And it, it gets to the point where we got to figure out what the agenda is. Um, it's up in the air. Are we supporting individuals who may believe in um, same-sex marriage or same-sex dealings? Even when he was signing his deal, you know, he let us know he's about to sign away for $7.5 million. That was a video earlier on you could search for. So what I'm understanding is the money is what defines how these individuals market themselves. Why is everyone yelling at Takashi and not coming at his... Uh, label for signing someone with his characteristics. I don't understand. Whenever there's beef, whenever there's drama, they go straight for the artist and everybody skips the main man who's financing it. It's just like a mafia. You're going after one person that's part of a mafia, but they're funded by a major boss that you fear. Are you scared of the boss? Or are you really trying to end what he represents? That's why it's hard for me to take it serious when these guys are doing the things they do. You're not going at the people that represent what it is he's representing or even funding him. That would end all he's doing. You're going after the artist itself for public appeal. That's the only thing you're going to get going after the artist. You have to slay the industry. So what I mean by that is... He signed to what? Um, Interscope? I don't really know who he's signed to. So let's allege he's signed to Interscope, um, Jive Records, one of these major record companies. Why are people still giving a pass to them? They, for centuries, have been signing artists off of agenda or, let's say, what they perceive to be the future of their company. So why are we still socially attacking an artist for what they're rapping about, what they believe in? If they were paid by a major company, millions by a major company to be who they are. I'm not really understanding the logic in this because, I mean, even if you consider Kanye West, you want to say he's independent now. Why are you going at Kanye West and not good music for lacking in production? I'm not understanding that. It's a team game. Kanye West 
isn't just good music. There's multiple other artists. Um, in the past, there was Big Sean that caused drama. It's just the artists you sign to it that have a certain public appeal that bring in certain viewers, certain fans with certain likes, dislikes, certain, let's say, preferences. And what's going on is the individuals of the old generation are slandering these new individuals without giving any acknowledgement to the fact that these record labels have been signing individuals like this with their level of talent for years. Um, individuals with their level of, let's say, ability for years with their appearance, their marketability. This isn't new. It's just in a different generation and he's very, very, very popular. So they use their kit formula to try and push an artist and they succeeded. And now he's all in social media. He got these guys getting upset. He has these guys, let's say, insecure about their presence and their legacy in the game. Is that Takashi's fault? Because these guys are insecure with the ability that they bring to the table. I'm not really understanding it. If that's the case, then what are we here for? Why are we continually coming at this guy like he's not being backed by a major label to participate in the things he is? Like he's not backed by a major label to be who he is. I'm not really understanding that. That's not making sense to me. And coming at Kanye West isn't going to fix the situation, nor is it going to make anything stop with Donald Trump. It's just going to amplify it and bring more recognition to what Kanye is saying about Trump than anything. So if these guys really had an issue with Kanye, why are they going to keep bringing a spotlight to him? And make these threats like they did Takashi. Because they seen all it does is make them blow up. You can't threaten Kanye West and tell him not to come to the West. That's like telling Jay-Z not to come to the West. It's because you don't know who he's connected to. You don't know who he knows. He's a major artist that's been in the game for years. Just like Daz Dillinger. If you guys got people that are going to go to war. They're going to go to war before you put hands on him, hurt him. Or he puts hands on you. It's, it's that simple. I mean, because... The, the mastermind's money. And the thing is, Kanye West and Kim Kardashian have a lot of money to get situations like these gangsters are presenting dealt with. Like, you're not going to present a situation that's going to disenfranchise this couple. They've been through many, many media issues. So the artists that have been through the most media issues have the most backing because it comes back to that ideology. And I'll bring that in um, real quick. It's that no publicity is bad publicity. And the reason that counts here is because they know they're in the media. They know that their face is going to be everywhere. So upon years and years and years of them dealing with this, they've gained enemies and they gain allies. Best believe the allies they gain are in a position to deal with any random rapper or any random person stepping up to make comments or to say they're going to assault them, to say they're going to do this and that. It's just for social media attention because we know for a fact there's no way you could survive doing something like that to someone of that notoriety. Too many people are eating off of them on social media. Too many people are eating off of their music. Too many people are eating off of their presence of this, them being alive. Just them being who they are. Too many people are eating. And as gangbangers and stuff, you got to realize uh, it goes, honestly, I got to just bring in something that Star mentioned. Um, there's two things. Number one, the streets got to eat. That's Dodge Dillinger's viewpoint. Yeah, he has to eat. And he's saying he's in a war zone consistently, which I believe him. But two, you got to also understand that if someone's feeding, they do, they, they people's, their people's going to be willing to rock you to do whatever to get you going. And there's millions being fed by Kanye and Kim. So this has to be a publicity stunt, because if it's not the all the, these guys lives are in danger that are saying this to them, because if you're making a legit direct threat, Kanye is of a level where he's dealing with Jay Z's and P Diddy's and Donald Trump's. There's no way you're going to do what you say you do to him and survive it. It's just not possible. Even making their, that threat was risky because what's going to happen is when Kanye's going on his tours and he's getting things together, there's going to be certain people set up in the back of the scenes waiting for you to do something. And even if you do it, they're going to make sure they do you and they violate you. And the crazy thing at the level Kanye and them is, it's not just gang members or people they pay to do it. 
literally officers of the law will be willing to do whatever to hurt you because a lot of these people who are law abiding citizens, who are law abiding citizens, officers of the law authority, they will violate you for their favorite stars. That's what people don't realize. They'll violate you and they'll ride on you full force because some of them grew up listening to Kanye. That's the generation we're in. The generation of past has now become the present. So you have to be very careful in these threats that you're giving out to major stars at a starlet that have positionality to become a potential Hollywood star on the walk of fame. It's just not smart. And you guys left the legacy to be respected. Don't go out as the gangbangers that you started the game with when you transcended industries at this moment in time. It's not just the streets. It's the game. And you know how I rock. All rights reserved.